Romania or Russia, this question has been important for Moldovan society for years and these elections are not exception. Three main players, three main parties that will likely form the parliament, Socialist Party that is pro-Russian, uh, Democratic Party that is rather pro-European and newly formed opposition bloc, ACUM that is strongly pro-European. Uh, these parties will likely form the parliament and they uh, strongly show uh, the moods and uh, the values and perception of Moldovan people. After the election, it will become clear where the country is heading. Do you prefer the EU, Bucharest, NATO or Russia? To Bucharest. To the EU. Why? Because with Russia, we were close to Russia before, there are no positive changes. And with Bucharest there can be such changes? Maybe. What would be better, EU, NATO or Russia? NATO. Why so? It's just better. NATO, EU or friendship with Russia? Either way, they will all fight with each other. What would you like? I would have liked someone like Josip Broz Tito. There was such a president in Yugoslavia who worked both sides of the street. And the country lived well. We should be friends with everyone. Our country is so small that it's better to be on good terms with everyone. Did you vote today? Of course I did. Who did you vote for? For the socialists, like I always do. Why for them? I have hope. I think to Europe. Why? Because they're very progressive. We have a future. Did you vote in today's election? No, I don't vote. In your opinion, is it better to be close to Europe or Russia? To Europe. And why so? It has a lot of opportunities, I think. Oh, I don't know. I don't trust anyone any longer. But still, is it better to be friends with Moscow or Brussels? They're all fake. My daughter is in Switzerland and I'm for Europe. Thanks. I think it's better to be friends with everyone because that's how our nation is diverse. Some support Russia, some Europe, and that's why we need to be friendly with all of them. When the election is over, we'll see where we're heading. What would you want? We would like friendship with Europe and with Russia, but no NATO, please. Europe doesn't need NATO, but NATO has already spread into Europe. Why does Europe need NATO? We've had this before. We saw what happened when Hitler came to power. We don't need this. We need to be in peace with everyone, I think. We want peace and friendship with every nation. I can't say what's the best option. I'm not politically literate to speak on the matter. Maybe she can tell you. Where is it better to head? Toward Bucharest or Russia? Go Russia, right? That's what we think. I don't think Moldova is at the level to get into Europe yet. And Russia is not the most promising option. That's why I don't think that after the election we'll get onto a completely different track. What track would you like it to be on? Of course I would like our salaries to be like those in Europe and our cities to be as developed. But for that to happen we would need a change of government, a change of mindset. And this doesn't happen in a year or two, this takes decades. After eight years of democratic ruling, Moldova will likely change its vector and will choose uh, socialists that are uh, mostly pro-Russian and the party is led by current president Igor Dada. We'll see the results, but still now political experts and journal journalists say that after the voting day, after the elections, there will be an uh, unstable period in Moldova, three months, because uh, uh, then political parties, they will likely uh, and not be able to form the coalition because uh, three main parties that will uh, who are likely form the parliament uh, they have different values they have different uh, points of view and if they uh, will not be able to form the coalition then in Moldova after three months there will be a uh, new elections uh, to the parliament this instability is also visible in Moldovan society. There is no strong opinion where Moldova should go. We ask people on the streets on their opinion. Some of them told us they had strong nostalgia for the times of USSR. Others told us the only way for them was to uh, to the EU. Uh, still, there is no uh, one. Uh, there is no answer who will form the parliament. Whether uh, it will be socialist pro-Russian party or uh, Democrats or uh, a liberal pro-European opposition. But this division uh, that exists in Moldovan society is really visible and will have its effect on this parliamentary elections. Ostap Yarish, Alexander Kochan from Kishinev, Moldova for Hromatskyi.